In today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, I get the opportunity to look through an untouched storage unit full of DVDs. Fair bit of stuff. Fair bit of stuff. And is it listed, unlisted? All unlisted inventory here. I open a pack of old trading cards and get an unexpected surprise. All right, there we go. Are you shitting me? <laughs> what the hell? And we're back in the garage to take you through six overnight sales on eBay. Um, didn't have these for very long in our bookcase here. We do sell a number of books, but uh, this one sold for $29.99. This is an episode you won't want to miss. Enjoy. Right, that's sweet. Have a look at it. Fair bit of stuff. Fair bit of stuff. And is it listed, unlisted? All unlisted inventory here. What have we got in those ones? Um, Looks like some DVDs maybe in there. Maybe D mainly DVDs, yeah. Obviously, I'll take it all of this is up for, for grabs then. Yeah, anything in here is, is, is available. Yep. some of this stuff. Yeah. A Mine to Kill. Series one, two, three in the pilot movie. That sort of thing could be okay. One pole of the Bailey. I haven't heard of that either. I have, that's an old show, very old show that can be Acorn popular. Acorn Media. It's a good one. Uh, Prime Suspect, this is a low-lying $25 bread and butter. Oh, yeah. The Last Ship. Haven't heard of that. Looks interesting. Could be okay. Vera, yeah. that's a good one. Outlander. Outlander. Yeah, Outlander is only a one and two there with that collection. Um, the Palisers is a decent one. Um, this is a good one, though, if you had a few more of it. Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah, I've sold a few of those. I love that TV show, personally. I haven't watched it. Oh, it's a ripper. I know it's a comedy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a comedy. Really funny. An American... No, sorry, English. Yep. Thing. What's that, Three Musketeers? Yeah, the Three Musketeers, series one to three. Guys, um, this is... I think is that's the... all that was out of that one, anyway. Yeah, this is the pile that we've got so far. We've got the big tub of wrestling, and then I've just been going through, and I've got this allocation of of series and I've got a big pile here uh, that isn't going to be going. We're going to be putting that back in <laughs> and you'll decide whether or not to go on to sell it but it'll be a slower process than what we're doing now. Yeah, some of it will probably go up in my store. Absolutely stuff. and it's not to say that it isn't sellable it's just uh, I guess right now it's cherry picking isn't it? Yeah it's long term. Yeah well, that'd be cool. Now what's this allocation? Downtown Abbey. Oh, Christmas Journey to the Highlands. London season. It looks like a big mix. And there's more there too. One, two, three. I'll give them a go. News to me. Yeah, I've never, never seen that mix of Downton. No, it'd probably do quite well for you. Yep. There's a batch of Sherlock's there too. Sherlock Blu-ray. What have we got there? One, one, two and three. I don't know how many seasons Sherlock has. We've got some McLeods here. Looks like a complete set. And we've got some SVU. How more, many have we got there? More SVUs, eh? Yep. So we've got fifth, six. I think we've got one to First. six. First. I think there's only six in McLeods. Eight, I believe. Oh, is there? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sex in the City down there. Law and Order SVU, we've got one and three. There's a five. Yeah, there is eight for McLeods. Yeah. One to six would be okay though. There might be some more hiding in this box. What's that for? Oh, McLeods? Yeah. Honestly, I think there's a set on my shelf at home too that you could always just grab. Uh, we've moved over to the left-hand side now, guys. So some books are in here. Um, we've just got a few DVDs, I think, in this little corner. And then we'll shoot back to David's place. 
and continue on. A lot of CSI on this one. Dr. Seuss. House, great show. Bunch of, this looks like it could be a lot of TV show seasons in this one. Huh? Would you want to pull it out here into the light or you want to yeah. work through it there? No, I might pull it out in the light, I think. Then Roswell. That could be okay. See, uh, collection one, two, and three. Still working on Supernatural. Pretty Bunch sure there's the a office. full set of the Supernaturals at my house, I think. Yeah, we might just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six of Wentworth. Yeah, that's only six. I think there's eight. There's eight all up. There was eight in the Blu-ray version that you took last week. That's right. Um, I think I they were my private collection, and then I, then I got them on Blu-ray, and then you got them from me. So. Yeah. <laughs> But I've watched them time over, so it's all good. You've watched them. Uh, brothers and sisters. How many have we got there? First, second, third. Double up on first. That's all good. Okay, so we've kind of blown up this storage unit here. Um, we've got all of this stuff here, which is going to now come back in. Um, Basically just stuck with the DVDs. There were no video games in here, just DVDs, um, but there were a lot of them. And uh, we've looked through both sides. As you can see, it's a little bit more bare than what it was. And this is what I have pulled out. No comp research. I've just stuck to what I know through past experience and we've got this allocation that we're gonna take back to David's house uh, and look through the rest of the stuff that he's got at home. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and pack all of this back into the unit and get out of here. that one there where you are. I bought these in the last video guys, so if you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. A pair of dunks and whatever those things are. Blazers. Blazers, um, 77s. And they're the size 12 or are oh, they no, the size eight. 8? Yeah. The 12s are up there, mate. Oh. Oh, just there. Beautiful. All right. Hey, I'll give you that. Throw that on. And uh, yeah, where do you want to start? You took the Chicago Meds last time. Yeah. Over here you'll find a full set of Chicago PD and a full set of Chicago Fire. Oh, add that to the mix. That's brilliant. And over the back there somewhere, yeah. in all of those white cases that you see just there. Midsummer. Full set of Midsummer. All right. Midsummer. Yeah, there's a lot there, isn't there? It's all the ones with the photos on the spine that makes up the whole thing. That's right. And from what they told me, um, it's uh, volumes one to 40, less two volumes, I think, volume two and something else. Okay. Got some postage going out today. Oh, that's good. How many sales? Uh, five. Nice. What have you sold? Um, that's off to the, the UK. Nice. That's actually a, full, um, a fully sealed season one super nanny. Oh, cool. That they paid over 65 bucks, including postage, to get it there. See? Um, this stuff sells. And I picked it up for a dollar at Vinnie's. Incredible. That one is um, Future Armor 1 to 4. Yep. And this one is a book, uh, Paul McKenna Instant Confidence book. How much did that sell for? Um, 20 bucks plus postage. Okay. Now, what was, what was some of your updates that you'd been able to uncover since I was last year? Oh, yes. Um... I'll bring that box out. It's in my bedroom. Sweet. Um, it was just some more PS2 games. Yep. A um, few people might be watching this video for the very first time. So it's an incredible wall here of DVDs and Blu-rays. That is David's collection. Uh, we went through in the last video a few of these things up here as well. He's got records, a few other bits and pieces that is part of the collection. Um, and we did buy a few things. You'll see here there's a few holes that need to be refilled. Some have been refilled already. Some have been. Yeah, it's looking quite, it's still looking quite full, considering I was in here. There's another Lord of the Rings that you got down there. Yeah, that's my set. Yeah. Um, full NCIS, we spoke about that at the shed. You yeah. wanted... Well, I think there's more than just that. Oh, yeah, that one's a fully sealed set. Yeah. But I think there's more seasons. Oh, okay. I don't think it's one to eight only. I think there's more to it. And is that one to nine or one to... It's a region two, this one. Oh, is it? Yeah, this one's region one to eight, but I think there's 20 seasons mm -hmm. of NCIS. 
Okay. Still good being sealed though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Criminal Minds isn't complete either. Season one to nine. Yeah, I think there's about 15. Was it the time that, that set came out? McLeods. You got seven, you're missing one season. The final season. Oh no, sorry, McLeods, that is a complete series. Um, it's McLeod, no, what were we looking at? No, we were, sorry, I lied, one to eight. You're yeah. missing one. Um, yeah. Seventh to go to, yeah, that one. Yep. Um, Supernatural one to six up there. Yeah. Where was the other set of Supernatural you had here? Some more NCIS here. Supernatural one to nine. So you got a 10 that you can bring up from home, uh, from the shed. Oh, is there a 10 down there at the shed? Yeah. But see, Supernatural goes up to season 15. Oh, does it? Yeah. So you got a few to grab there. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you got white collar. Are you getting rid of that? Yeah. That if you okay. want it, you can take it. One to five of white collar. Uh, what about this um, 2023 pay-per-view? Uh, um, 2013. Yeah, I'm... May I think I may list. I've also got these ones here. That's a twenty fourteen. Oh yeah, nice. And sealed up. Oh, just grab the excess. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's fully sealed. Yeah. That I was. That's private collection, but I may consider. What was that wrestling one over there? Is that two thousand thirteen? Did you say thirteen? And this one here, wrapped in plastic, also appears to be two thousand thirteen. Oh, well, do you want to hold on to that and I'll take this? This one's all bubble wrapped. If you want that one, yeah, I can potentially part. There's a full 2005 set up there as well, I think. Do you want to get rid of the 05? No. Fair. Probably not. <laughs> These are the wrestling figures you want to keep, uh, get rid of? Uh, yeah, I just got to double check the accessories out of there, but... Sure. Yeah. And these are the ones that you pulled out that you're keeping? Yeah. There yeah, they all are. What yeah, I pulled out some for myself. They're up at my mum's now. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, CS3, PS2. I actually went through this the night I found it after you left. Yeah. I listed up Two of the higher value ones. Yeah. Sold one of them straight away. I don't doubt it. One called Spy Hunter. Never heard of it. No, neither have I. Actually had the rock on the cover by the look of it. Oh, yeah. Very 51. Yeah, that one comped up reasonably well. Good to do as a bundle. Well, that's what I figured. There we go. Nice. Mm. I don't think there's a cover for that here. I'll just leave that over there. Uh, you got some Supernatural on Blu-ray too. Yeah. I've slowly been trying to move everything over to Blu-ray. Blu-ray collections, if you know what I mean. Oh, are you? It's from yeah. the DVD. Yeah, right. Um, you're not interested in Lost, I'm guessing? Uh, how many seasons have you got? All of them. Yeah. One to seven or whatever it was. Yep. Oh, One to six, sorry. One to six. I think yeah. there were eight, maybe, of Lost. No, this actually says the final season. Oh, okay, six. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. That's a tougher one to ship off, but I'll, I'll do it. Seasons one and two, and that's four, five, and six. Done. I'll add that in. Sounds good. One to seven. Yep. I'll add that. Blue collar TV. Season one and uh, volume one and two of season one. Yeah, that's very hard to get. I imported that one. Did you? You're probably not having that one. Okay, <laughs> totally fair. I totally fair. love that stuff that they've done. How about Gene Simmons? No. Keep it, <laughs> keeping it? Yeah. yeah. I'm a Kiss fanatic. So. You are, aren't you? <laughs> very fair. Gene, nope. <laughs> Gene, nope. How about this one, Lois and Clark? 
Mm, no. Keeping it? I'll keep it with my other Supermans that I didn't let you take last time. Yep, no worries. Did you grab that season four of CSI Miami with the others? Got it back at the... Uh... Yeah, I just didn't know if you had it yep. in there. Yeah, it was the later seasons that I was missing. You got all the suits or? Mm, suits, slower seller. Yeah. Slower seller suits. Um, what about Stargate? We looked yeah. at that last time. We did, didn't we? It's just such a big allocation, isn't it? Yeah. Like that would cost a lot to ship. That yeah. was my only thoughts. Maybe Stargate Atlantis? It's because that's a complete series on its own. Yeah. And the other is a, is a complete set too, but it's big the number of boxes. Number of boxes. Like this is season one to five. One to five. Well, if you've already got a one to five. Yeah, this is a one to five too. And I think it only had five seasons, if yeah, I remember right. I think it did. How many have we got there? About 22. 22. Uh, yeah, that Xbox One wall, what do you reckon? I think we might go through that and pull some stuff out for you when um, when you come back. Yep. We've obviously got everything in the car from the storage unit. Um, and then we've got this, which is basically just DVDs and some wrestling figures, guys. Um, got some wrestling figures. I've gone through and had a bit of a look at kept which ones they want to keep. And then there's a few different series here. We've also looked at all of these, which is a bunch of PlayStation 2 games that were found during the week that I didn't see the other day. Um, so, yeah, just a random allocation of stuff. We've also grabbed, obviously, Midsummer, as you guys know. Um, and I've got the shoes from last week as well to take home. How about 750 Did you push it to eight? Um, all right. Okay. Let's Done. do eight. 800. Let's do eight. 800 for round two. Round and two. one thing, guys, that we haven't spoken about on the channel or on this video yet is Dave and I are going to actually be working together for some mentoring. Um, I've yep. obviously taken note of, you guys have also seen just the sheer amount of stock that's in this house, but also in the storage unit. Um, so David and I are going to be jumping on a call, probably not in this video, but I think in future videos on the channel, and that way viewers are going to be able to see what the situation is here and what the situation is going to be developing for you with your eBay business, because you want to get back on track, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, look, even just doing regular listings since you were last here is starting to see some more activity in the store again. So, yes, it's definitely working. Everything listed is all in one spot in the garage. Yep. And I, I sort by, I've got tubs of DVDs, one to 15, I've got tubs of video games, one to four. Yep. Um, so it's all custom skewed, that's all done. Um, I think it's just the non-listed stuff. The unlisted stuff is yeah. everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and that causes mental clutter. Exactly, and by you buying this, um, it's actually released a lot of that mental clutter. Yeah. Just the last lot and this lot, um, I've just got to be realistic and I needed cash flow to get back on track. Yep. And you've helped me with that, so I'm very grateful. And moving forward, eBay's going to be helping you with the cash flow. Yeah. Because that's what eBay is designed for. Yeah. It's there as a side hustle to help you at times of need for extra dollars or two. Yeah. So you've done the hard work to get it, but I did say in the car when we were driving, David said, let's pop into a thrift store on the way through. And I said to him, <laughs> I said to him, this is where we need to stop that trend of going into thrift stores. Um, and I think that was a mini lesson in there for you right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually oh. saying no to the future thrifting. It's, it's, it's something I have been told time and time again by many people who know my situation. And I'd have to say, if it wasn't for people like Matt, people like Mel at Back From Burnout, and people I know privately like Megan and Michaela, you guys are all fantastic. I wouldn't be here where I am now if it wasn't for everybody. Mm. So thank you to everyone. Nice shoes. Checkered Van Army. <laughs> I've got my big toe poking out. Check that out. <laughs> See that? That's awful. <laughs> through the sock as well. <laughs> through the sock and now through the shoe. That looks bloody awful. Uh, I do need another pair. And considering, unfortunately, the two pairs of shoes that I bought off David don't fit, I think we'll, Kate and I will go out and buy another pair over the weekend. Um, this little pile here, this tiny little pile here, is all that remains from our buy yesterday with David. So this is a very, very big tip for you guys out there that are trying to have success with selling on eBay. List up your stock the second that you get it. 
Um, we don't have a lot left. I've looked at the numbers. There's about $2,400. I reckon a little less than two and a half grand uh, worth of value out of the hall. And we paid $800 as you guys just saw. Um, that's such a fair deal. If anyone's in the comments telling me that that's not a fair deal and I'm ripping people off, I don't have time for it because anyone in their right mind would think that that is a completely fair deal, 800 into two and a half grand. So we're gonna list all this up and over a period of time, we should be able to double our money, make about 800, 900 odd dollars. So really happy to have spent 1700 over the last couple of days with David and we've got a ton of stock pushing us well ahead into the week, uh, which I'll show you guys here. This is our board with all of our numbers if you're new to the channel. Uh, we are now sitting on the 25th of October. We did $511 yesterday. Today is the 26th. So we should be able to get over $10,000 for the month. We're averaging $404 every single day on average daily sales. So the numbers work out to around $12,500. That's what we're sort of projecting for this month of October. So I've said it in past videos, this is the crunch moment these next eight weeks to try and list up all of the stock that you've got in your house and then go out and do more thrifting and just keep listing up because people are out there buying more than ever. This is the busiest time of year. Um, some results from David's buy yesterday. I haven't really gone through everything. There's still a ton of stuff over there yet to go through, but I've just been going through the wrestling figures um, that we've got. I, hadn't, I didn't even look at them. I just bought them off him. Um, and then I've gone through it now and had a bit of a look. And these three, or these five, I should say here, these are the elites. And you can tell that they're the elites by this uh, chest that moves here, the articulation in the chest. Um, so I started to work through the price points of these because these ones here that don't have that chest break, they aren't worth as much. Um, or at least I don't believe they're gonna work out to be worth as much there. Um, but these two here were ones that caught my eye. Um, this one here with the big English flag accessory, the British Bulldog, he actually sells for about $40. So that was a cool little find. But this one here was probably, not that I've comped the rest, but I reckon this guy here, I think his name's Kamala but he's got all of his, uh, his accessories and he's even got this little mask on him as well. He's got his necklace. He was selling for about 60 to $70. So just those, those two action figures right there, we're gonna probably be able to make about $100 off those two guys. And then we've got all of these individual ones that we can sell up either as a lot or whether or not we go as a, uh, an individual listing, we'll have to wait and see. Um, now, member videos, guys. Member videos have been coming out a lot more regularly lately. Um, I've got a season one to six of Parenthood right here, which I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. Um, well, I've finally got a winner for it. I've finally done the prize draw and the Peninsula Flipper is the winner. Um, so big congrats to the Peninsula Flipper. This will be uh, sent out to them very, very shortly. If, they, if they're watching right now, um, shoot me through a message and um, I'll be able to ship that off. But that should go for about $50 odd dollars. And I think channel membership over the course of a year is about $60. Um, five bucks a month, you can cancel any time. Really trying to drill up as many of those uh, members as we can into the channel uh, because we're gonna be doing some live um, listing sessions. You might even jump into a couple of those live listing sessions, Kate. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, do that. Big thank you to the Peninsula Flipper and everybody else that supports the channel with channel membership. I'm gonna direct you over here now. We've got a new whiteboard. This is our second whiteboard in the room. This is our Christmas listings that Kate so neatly drew up. That's very impressive. Thank you. I wouldn't have uh, penmanship that, that good. Like me. I do like the trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I love all of it. And what we're going to do here with this, we're, we're aiming for $500 a day like we do every single day, um, but we're going to write up all of these days ahead of time. It's only October now, but we're already starting to think about Christmas. Um, 500 bucks every single day um, would get us nine days off over the Christmas holidays because Kate and I we're off to Melbourne. We're driving to Melbourne for the Christmas period. We're gonna have five days in Melbourne, four days off. So four days of driving um, and five days in Melbourne. So I need nine days worth of $500 a day worth of listings. And then I'm gonna go on to time away mode and we're gonna do the shipping when we get back. Hopefully that's a big shipping day when we get back. We might be doing our shipping on the 31st of Jan, New Year's Eve, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, Try and set up a bit of a game plan for what you're gonna do over the Christmas break. Surely you don't wanna be working through all the key dates of the year. Um, so have a think about that. We're gonna do that and we're gonna to work towards it over the next eight weeks with enough run time into it where hopefully it doesn't become too much of a stress. Um, very, very important to work on what's happening now, 
but also what's coming up. It's just a really busy time of year. Um, what else do we need to talk about? We've got some sales. We're gonna do a what's sold. Uh, we've got six sales to talk about. One really awesome sale um, that I can't wait to share with you guys. That'll be the last one that we talk about. Um, we're gonna rank it as always from the cheapest to the most expensive and we'll kick it off with the worst one now. This is the worst. We've had one fall below our $20 minimum. Um, $17 for this one here. The Last of Us remastered on the PlayStation 4. To be honest with you guys, I am starting to wholesale these off at this price point of $17. These are now going into wholesale bundles and I've actually got a big PlayStation 2 console lot off David yesterday or in the video that you've seen. Um, that's going up for $70. So pretty cheap, you know, selling these games are actually still profitable at that purchase price, but I don't have the time for a $17 because I'm gonna put that into an express post envelope. That's gonna be $6.50, that brings it down to $11.50. We're gonna take fees out of it about $3, that's $8.50. And then I'm probably buying it in a thrift store for maybe three or four dollars. You're on to four dollars in profit. You know, we don't want to work for four dollars worth of profit uh, when we can wholesale it off for three dollars in a big lot bundle. I think it's just better to do it that way. This is the next one here. We've got Holly Webb. A uh, really good book author, Holly Webb. At least that's what the comps were saying on eBay. This is a random allocation of seven of her books. I don't think it's a complete set. Um, but we've got the Shelter Puppy, we've got the Story Puppy, the Abandoned Puppy. They're pretty cute books. Um, they're in excellent condition as well. I always like to have a look at what the, uh, what the paper looks like. It always presents well in photos and gets a better sale if they do look clean like that. Um, didn't have these for very long in our bookcase here. We do sell a number of books, but uh, this one sold for $29.99. And I think with the width of these books, a bit of bubble wrap, they should be able to go into a small satchel, I reckon, Kate. Um, Kate's helping me with the post today. Um, you might actually do all of the posts because there's only six to do. Sure. Um, but that'll be an easy one for you. Holly Webb, not a bad book series. Got another video game here on the Xbox One, $29.99. We've got Cyberpunk 2077. Um, so yeah, nothing much to say about that. Just another one of our random games we've got going for over $20 into a medium satchel. Took a few weeks to sell. This is the next one here. We've got Florence and the Machine. This is Lungs, a brand new and sealed record. I don't really do too many uh, record sales. Fabs is here. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the video. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, like well, and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hey, Perry. Perry's in here too. <laughs> hey, Pez. How's work? Good. Nice. Yeah. Good. Unreal. Um, $45 we got for that one there. So. Like I said, I wasn't doing a lot of records, haven't done a lot of records. The reason why is because they're quite tough to ship off. Um, so I actually think the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna get some cardboard that's big enough to cover this surface front and back. Then we're gonna bubble wrap, uh, sorry, butcher's paper it. Actually, we might not even need to butcher's it because butcher's ring is only for, uh, to conceal what the item is. Yeah, the cardboard will do that. Cardboard will do that. So we're gonna go cardboard, cardboard, and then we're gonna do a bunch of bubble wrap. And I reckon we just send it off like that. So let me know if you guys are just cringing at the fact that we're going to be doing that for our shipping of, uh, of a record. Um, I think a pizza box is another good suggestion. You can just throw it into a pizza box. We had some pizza the other night, a little nine inch though, wasn't it? <laughs> Can't too probably, small. <laughs> probably a bit too small. They were tiny pizzas. I thought nine inch was going to be a bigger pizza, but it wasn't. Anyway, 45 bucks on that one there. We bought this at a garage sale two weeks ago and we only paid, I think it was $2.50 each. I bought two records for five bucks. Nuts. I don't think this is in any order, but we've got Family Guy here, a big allocation of Family Guy DVDs that I've had, to be honest with you, for quite a while. Shout out to those that are watching from the US, uh, because this has been a international sale to the US. Uh, let me know what state in America you're watching this from. I think about 30% of our audience is American. Uh, so it'd be good to hear from you guys. Let us know, where, where are you tuning in? And where are you tuning in from anywhere around the world for that matter? I'm always pretty fascinated to hear about that. Um, this will go into a box. The buyer has paid $30 plus $41 worth of calculated international shipping. Um, so it should work out to that $41. So a $30 sale price, it's not too bad. I probably wouldn't buy Family Guy in this mixed allocation anymore. I think you guys saw in the private pick earlier today or yesterday, um, a lot of them were being bought in their whole full season sets and at least up to 80% of full season sets. No more of this. I think Family Guy goes up to like season 15 or 18 or something. Um, so buying seven seasons worth, that's why it's taken so long to sell. Um, so maybe say no to this sort of stuff and just buy it in its entirety. 
before I jump into number one, I wanted to show you guys these. I tried to buy these for myself off David in the first private pick that we did with him last week. Uh, these are the Nike Dunks, the metallic silvers. They're a US size 12. They don't fit. They're too tight. It's sad. It's so sad because I love them. I was going to wear them all the time. Um, them along with my Czech Advance because they're the best shoes in the world. Um, <laughs> And I also bought these for myself as well. These are the Blazers, the Blazer and the Nike Mid Blazers. So I love those ones. I do too. I'm shattered actually that they don't fit. They're both a size 12 and I'm just going to try and get my money back. So if any of you guys want them, um, I'm going to sell them for 50 bucks, including shipping um, for those that are in Australia. If you're international and you want them, let me know. Um, but yeah, 50 bucks each, shipped, $100 all in if you want both let me know because I'm not selling shoes anymore so they're not going to go on either. Perry up. Good boy. Sit. <laughs> sit. Good boy. Perry sit. Oh. Sh now just before I jumped on this uh, video with you guys I was speaking to a young man by the name of Reuben. Reuben and I first met maybe two years ago at the Camberwell Markets. It's a flea market in Melbourne, Victoria and he has a stall called I think it's 201, stall 201 or 301. It's on the screen right now. You should go and follow him on Instagram. Um, he's got a, an, that's literally the stall number that he's got at the markets. That's, that's why he calls himself that, makes sense. Um, but he's a really, really cool guy. Um, loved what he was doing a few years back. He's still, he's still doing it now and he's big on Lego. Um, he's really, really big on Lego. Here he is here. He's got a ton of minifigures that we got off Bree. Uh, in a private pick that you guys actually wouldn't have seen. We didn't show the footage of the second private pick that we did with Bray because we didn't film it, did we? No. No, we didn't film it. We spent $425 with her, um, bought a number of things. This was one of them that she threw in right at the end there. And as you can see, there's some minifigures from The Simpsons as an example. I think we've got about five Simpsons minifigures. These are Series 1 uh, mi minifigures. We've also got this, which for any Lego fan out there, you'll understand just how rare this one is. We've got Deadpool. Um, now Deadpool here goes for about $150 um, on eBay alone, just him. Now Ruben knows a thing or two more than I do about Lego. Um, there's a bunch of really cool characters in here. There's actually this one here, Batman Bane is in here as well with his little jacket too. These are actually quite rare figures guys, or at least not rare, but in the sense that they might be retired or they could just be great in the sense they've got their accessories as well. So Lego is a big category that I know nothing about, but I remembered uh, Ruben down at the Campbellwell Markets and I thought Ruben might like to sell these. Um, so I messaged him on Instagram and I spoke to him about this. I sent him photos. He asked me a lot of questions about authenticity with Lego, which I'm now well versed on. Um, next time I'm out looking for minifigures. And I said to him, look, just take the lot. And I've also got a bunch of uh, Got a bunch, of, a bunch of vintage Pokemon cards here that I was going to do up as a lot as well. Um, so there's a bunch of bunch of different different um, series, but they're all old school, base set two, base set. There's a ton of different Pokemon cards. There's a big mix lot. Um, he does do Pokemon cards as well. Um, I don't know if he'll get a, a big kick out of these, but I just thought I'd throw them in to sweeten the deal. Uh, and I said that I was going to shout him out on camera as well. But um, we sold this for $250 to Ruben. Um, and he's going to make a lot of money by selling them off at the markets and maybe eBay. I'm not sure if he's doing eBay. He probably is. Um, but that is a fantastic result. Money is already deposited. Uh, $250 on some Lego minifigures and some Pokemon cards to go along with it for him as well. Now, in that private pick with Bree, uh, I also got these. I can't remember if this was off the first buy or the second buy. Um, we've got a bunch of um, Dragon Ball Z cards and we've got this older One Piece set of cards as well. Now... Bree said to me, we'll do these on consignment, which we are for a lot of the cards. I've got a lot of Pokemon cards off her that we're doing on consignment as well. But she said, well, I actually said to her, there could be a rare holographic card in here. Let's rip it open and see if we can sell it for more money than just selling it as a sealed card set only. Um, so in this video today, I'm actually going to rip open on camera all of these packs of cards. Not that I know what I'm looking for, um, but I can show you guys. And if you guys know a thing or two about Dragon Ball Z and One Piece, uh, you might know before I do in the sense of how much value some of these things could be worth. It says on the back of this one, this is the one that I'm most interested in. I'm probably going to rip this one open on camera and we'll leave it at that. Um, we've got nine cards in the pack. You're going to get a parallel holographic card in here no matter what, but one in every 12 packs is a silver rare and one in every 48 packs 
is a gold rare. And I had some research on eBay around the silver rares because I couldn't see any gold rare comps on eBay. Um, but there were some silver rares going for about $100. So if we get a silver rare, we've got a one in 12 chance in this pack, we could have a $100 card in there. And it could be a mint graded card that we go up and sell for even more money. Anyway, let's open this uh, one piece pack. And if it goes well, we might open some more. All right. I have no idea how you meant to, you know how people on YouTube do really cool card pulls? I don't know how to do it. So I'm probably going to pull out the one that we want to be seeing right first. Alright, there we go. They shuffle them around because they know where the order of it is and I don't know the order. That looks rare. Is that a gold? Oh, I'm so rookie at this. I don't even know. We've got Dory, the blue ogre. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what we're looking at. That looks like it's the rare one. It does. It's sitting on top. I didn't think they sat on top. Dory the Blue Ogre. That looks shiny. It's probably one of the parallel cards they were talking about. I don't know. We're so, <laughs> such rookies. And uh, then we've got all these, which are basics. I don't think any of that is special. No, nah, they're all basic. So this is our card. Dory the Blue Ogre. What's it worth? Dory the Blue Ogre. <laughs> huh? No. No. It's gold rare. Huh? Nah. <laughs> We've got two listings here for $600 on a rare mint Dory Blue Ogre. This is surely not right. <gasps> Are you shitting me? What the hell? Just leave it. Quick. I don't even want to touch it. I haven't hit solds yet. Someone in Australia is trying to sell this for $1,800. Dory the Blue Ogre. Oh my God. I'm going to go to solds. PSA 10 went for 1500 So if that's a mint card, that's $1,500. Hold on. There's got to be something else to it. This is a CH054 card. And this is CH054. Um, what the hell? That's it, isn't it? That, that's it. <laughs> Holy. And that's US dollars. A thousand US. <laughs> so I think we've just unearthed a mint potential PSA 10 Dory the Blue Ogre in one of the wildest unexpected card pools I've ever done.